We've been asked to solve the triangle A is equal to 14 kilometers, B is equal to 12 kilometers, and gamma is equal to 72 degrees. Well, I'm going to imagine drawing about a 72 degree angle. That makes C up here, and now let that be my 72 degree angle. And so let's see, I have a longer side and a shorter side, so I drew one longer than the other, so I'll just let that be alpha, excuse me, A, making this vertex A, and that would make this side B. 12 kilometers long, making this vertex B, and now I see angles alpha and beta. This picture's probably not very well, draw, well drawn to scale, but that's okay. Well, it gives us the information. These relationships are all we really need. And I see a side angle side triangle, so I'm thinking I'm going to have to use the law of cosines, and especially to find this missing side first. So the law of cosines tells me that c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2 times ab cosine of gamma. So plug in what we know, and we will find c squared, take a square root, and we will know c. 12 squared plus 14 squared minus 2 times 12 times 14 cosine of gamma, 72 degrees. All right, I'm going to use my TI-84 to do all of that. Take a square root at the end, and I will know what C is. There is C squared, and take a square root, and we find out that C is about 15.37 kilometers. Oh, I follow any rounding instructions that were given. I just feel like rounding to two decimal places for this length, so I'm going to leave it just like that. Now I get to find an angle. And when I'm finding an angle in one of these side angle side problems, I always like to make sure I'm dealing with an acute angle. So if I pick the angle across from the smallest side, I know I'm dealing with an acute angle. I'm doing that because when I take inverse sine, I can only get acute angles uh, because I'm dealing with positive values here. Now, if I'm paying attention here, this is my longest side, which means that's my small, excuse me, that's my largest angle. So both alpha and beta must be acute here. But if I always pick the angle across from that smallest side, then I don't have to worry about whether I accidentally picked an, an obtuse angle where inverse sine would just give me a reference angle. All right, imagine multiplying both sides by 12. And dividing by 15.37 after I have that sine of 72 in there. There is the sine of beta, which tells me my angle had to be about 47.9 degrees. All right, well, I now know three angles in this triangle, so if I add 72 degrees and subtract that from 180, I'll know what I'm dealing with. Alpha, well, that looks like it's going to be about 60.1 degrees. And we've solved our side angle, side triangle.